Hey guys, it's me, Drew, and welcome back to my channel. As you see from the title above, this is going to be a Sassy Girl Aroma order. I fell, and I fell hard for Sassy Girl Aroma. Her brittles are gorgeous, her loaves are chunky, and full and full of full of fragrance and I love her style of company and I love the way that she runs her business she offers her pre-orders so there's three different items that you can order from her her loaves her chunky muffins and my favorite her brittles now she'll post a list on her Facebook group typically the Thursday before the weekend and then you have a week to order. Now don't wait, because she does put a limit on everything that you can order, but once those orders are complete, then she starts pouring, and typically in about two to three weeks, you get your box of goodies. So even though I just placed an order last week, this is for three weeks ago. So it's really cool, so you can order your stuff, get super excited about it, and then get another box in the mail of more goodies. So I love the way that that's run, and I love that she always includes little samples. Samples go such a long way for me, especially when I'm talking about wax, and you order from a wax company, you want wax samples. The first sample that I received from her is White Mocha Kiss. Now this, to me, is I did open the box and did sniff everything really quickly, it smells very, very body care-esque. I did not look up the notes on this one, but it smells like a very creamy vanilla body care with a hint of more like a cocoa butter. I would not say like coffee, how it says white mocha. I wouldn't say coffee, and I would not say like chocolate. To me, it smells like a very like cashmere shea butter, like creamy vanilla scent. I really like it though. <clears throat> And then, total other end of the spectrum, Maui Hibiscus Beach. Now this one, it's really, really fresh. A little bit sea salty. Some citrus. It's very, very vibrant and bright. Almost like, like a mist for your hair is what I smell. This would be a really good bathroom scent. By the way, I'm melting her Cranberry Pear Bellini. Little sample in my bathroom. It's on day two of my tea light warmer. Incredible. All right, I think we're gonna work big, or start big and work small, because I don't typically do that. So I have some loaves, I have some muffins, and I have some brittles. So without further ado, let's get into the haul. Always, everything was wrapped super well. Yes, some brittles did come broken, but that's expected with shipping. But the first loaf that I got is blueberry pumpkin cornbread, and this is pumpkin pecan waffle, blueberry cornbread, and vanilla bean noel. Immediately, I smell that pumpkin pecan waffle oil, and I'm not complaining. I love that oil. Everybody loves that oil. Not everybody. Not everybody. But I love that oil. And that is, like, what you smell the most. But mixed with the blueberry, you definitely get the blueberry. But it's more like a baked blueberry muffin scent. It's not fresh or juicy. It's really, like baked and gourmand. As far as cornbread and vanilla bean noel, the cornbread with the blueberry kind of creates like a blueberry muffin vibe, but the vanilla bean noel I think just makes it really creamy. Next, Miss Charity. She talks so highly at this scent, I knew the second that it was available I had to order it, and it is Christmas at Santa's. Yes, I know it's already Christmas, but I can save this for next year. And honestly, reading the notes does not scream Christmas to me. It's Pepperberry Wreath, Sugar Cookies, and Marshmallow Fireside. Now, from what I remember, Pepperberry Wreath, it's like a pink peppercorn scent. And I smell that with a little bit of green. But the green, like the pine, is not scream you, knock you over the head. Because the sugar cookie and the Marshmallow Fireside blends so well with the pepperberry. It's almost like a hintly spiced, like, sugar cookie scent. With a little bit of green. It's really complex. I really 
I'm excited to melt this after it has some cure time, but also love the like white overboard with all these like rainbow chunks. Love, love her aesthetic. And then last, Moonstruck over coffee. Now I did order Moonstruck in a bar, which we'll talk about, but Moonstruck is blackberry jam butter cookie, zucchini bread, and vanilla bean noel. And then this is mixed with freshly brewed coffee. And I wanna get some more coffee scents in my arsenal. And I smell the coffee, but it's a very faint coffee. Blackberry jam butter cookie, 100%. Zucchini bread is in there. It definitely adds a little bit of uh, that, like, savoriness. It's such a good morning wake-you-up scent. And I think the reason why, because you figure you have coffee, you have your zucchini bread, you have blackberry jam butter cookies, you have these rich, decadent desserts with these beautiful, creamy, creamy coffee. It's really, really nice. I'm excited to pop this in my warmers in the morning. And I like that blackberry jam mixed with coffee. I like the vibe of the super, super fruity with bitter coffee. I love that transition. All three of those loaves, 100% winners. Now let's move on to my favorite part, the brittles. Every time I look at a Sassy Girl Aroma Brittle, I just get a little happy. I think it's because they're so big, they store so easily, and the mix of the marbleized colors, it's just, hey. These, these kittens, I'll tell you. They're a trip. One thing is on the ground, and they will find it, and they will destroy it. Anyway, <laughs> Cranberry Parabellini. Let me see. Now, this one did arrive broken, so I'll pull out the half to show you. These are just works of art. So I love that they're solid on one side, and then all the different colors swirled. They're just, they're so beautiful. And this is the Bath & Body Works dupe. It's so strong. Fresh cranberry, juicy pear, strawberry, black currant, and apple. And this, if you love fizzy, if you love bubbly, if you love those really fruity, fruity scents, you would love this. I have the candle, and I already know on New Year's Eve, I am going to be burning that candle for the start of the new year, and this is going to go all throughout my house because it's just such a celebratory scent. The cranberry mixed with the juicy pear, paired with that champagne, it is just so bright, so bubbly, it's so delicious. Would not be a video without a car. Tis the season to be jolly, and yes, this is a dupe for Tis the Season. I also have that candle. This is fruit, clove buds, and cinnamon sticks and vanilla. I love Tis the Season, and this is an exact dupe for it. It's that really, really bright, crisp red apple with cinnamon and clove, and it's such the quintessential holiday scent. Um, Never, ever, ever disappointed in Tis the Season. And I like having scents in the melts that I can burn with my candles. And like I said, her dupes are 100% spot on. Now this guy, she arrived in three pieces. It's okay though. It's five little pumpkins. And this is pumpkin pecan waffle, vanilla bean noel, and sugar cookie. So essentially just, I'll pull out this little piece of brittle. Just a really super creamy and delicious pumpkin pecan waffle. Oh, it's so good. This is so good. And pumpkin pecan waffle is just incredible on its own. Do not get me wrong, but when it's blended with like scents to make it even more creamy, decadent, and more rich, I mean, you cannot go wrong. Guys, cats are literally the most entertaining creatures. I, I can't. They're everywhere. Going to Disneyland, the packaging on this, the colors, I love. I love that it's white with these vibrant primary colors. And I know this is another one that Charity loves. It is cotton candy, strawberry, pineapple, creamsicle, lemonade, and whipped cream. It's just so fruity and delicious. I feel like I pick up on the strawberry and the creamsicle the most, but then the other scents are there, like the lemonade, the more that I smell it, I pick up on that bright, juicy, a little bit tart lemonade. 
It's so good. If you want a fruity, summery scent that makes you feel like you are literally eating all the beautiful confections in Disneyland, going to Disneyland is your answer. Continuing on, we have Spa Day. Now, this is a fresh, creamy cucumber spa, spa, spa blend. I feel like I buy a lot of bakery scents from Sassy Girl Aroma. So whenever I do see a fresh blend on the pre-order list, I always am like, I need to pick that up. And this, it's so funny. I smell sushi. Now listen, I'm not the biggest sushi fan. I'm slowly getting more into it because I'm expanding my horizons on fish. Not there yet, but it smells like a cucumber roll. Just like a bright, crisp, Cucumber, a little bit creamy from the cream cheese. I know that's crazy, and it's like, I don't, my house doesn't like a sushi shop. But I think in the bathroom, this is going to be really nice because of the bright cucumber. It's very watery, aquatic, without coming across as like a men's cologne fragrance. I really like it. Really like that one. Now, some that I got doubles on. The first one I got doubles on was Cupcakes at Tiffany's. And I got two of these because she did say that the oil was becoming really expensive to get her hands on. So I wanted to pick up some brittles. This is just a great scent to mix in general. And this is toffee, tiny chocolate, fruity buttercream, and creamy, fluffy vanilla cake. Now, fruity buttercream, I'm not really sure exactly what she means by fruity buttercream. But I talk about this all the time. When it smells cupcakes at Tiffany's, and it smells like a very, very rich yellow cake with chocolate frosting and toffee. I don't really, the fruity buttercream, I feel like the more I smell it, and now that I think fruity buttercream, I like am putting all the pieces in my head, and I can smell strawberry, just a hint of fresh strawberry. But it's not like, ugh, I don't like strawberry, I won't like it. No, I just think. It's almost like maybe like a hint of strawberry juice, but it's really, really good. I'm happy that I have two of these to do some blending with. It's a yummy one. <gasps> Speaking of blending, spoiler alert, she just had a pre-order for perfumes and I ordered these in perfumes. Okay, for one, the colors. I already know that on my when I get a house, <laughs> I want my office in these colors. This is Santos Royale. And this is Palo Santo, Sugar Cookie Royale, and Toasted Marshmallow. Does that sound familiar? It isn't October 3rd, is it? No. Do you like that? Oh my, God. oh my gosh, okay. I have to pull the whole brittle out. The blue in this is like denim. The brown is like milk chocolate, and just a little bit of white. Ah, the colors on this scream like just modern and cozy and like you have your shit together. I don't know. I just, I love it. This is so good. I love Palo Santo. And those other blends just take Palo Santo and turn it into like a lick the air scent. And I'm so happy I have it in these brittles. I think the wax pools that these create are going to be beautiful. And now I just ordered a perfume in it. So if you stop me in the street, Chances are I'll be smelling like a Palo Santo sugar cookie. Love. Next we have Garcia, and this is sugar cookie, birthday cake, and zucchini bread. Sounds kind of basic. Love that it's olive green, though. I love how she can choose the colors that just go so well together. That's something about Julie. Super talented. I love that she has these, like, color palettes that just pop. I smell sugar cookie. I smell birthday cake, and I smell zucchini bread. Three blenders that smell really great together. I don't get a ton of things that have birthday cake in them because to me birthday cake is just like, ah, yeah, it's birthday cake, you know? But I think it adds such a super sweetness to the other notes, it's it's really yummy. I'm happy to have that one. Oh, these brittles make me so happy. Next, Oath. Now there's two in here. I'm gonna do them next to each other. Oath and Marie. One of these is Beach Nights, right? Please leave a comment down below if you ordered Oath and Marie. Oath. 
toasted marshmallow, sea salt breeze, s'mores, roasted pine cones, smoked vanilla, sugar cookie, and marshmallow. Now this one, I smell the sea salt breeze. I smell the toasted marshmallow. I don't get really roasted pine cone, smoked vanilla sugar cookie and marshmallow, it smells like marshmallow fireside. But I remember from another vendor I have their beach nights, and I swear this smells just like it. It's so good. But then I smell Marie, and this one is toasted marshmallow, sea salt breeze, s'more, whipped whipped cream, marshmallow, meringue, sandalwood, and white magnolia. So it's like the last notes are different, but isn't one vendor something blackberries and magnolias or something is is um beach nights? And then I smell this. And I'm like, no, this smells like beach nights. But now that I smell it directly after this one, this definitely smells more body care than Marie. It smells way more body care. I think it's because of the white magnolia and the sandalwood. I picked that up in the end. I think this is Beach Nights. I'm literally answering it for myself. I'm like, what is it? And I'm answering it in my head. Yeah, I think this is Beach Nights because it's, it's so, it's so like sweet, sugary with the sea salt, but then the sandalwood and the magnolia adds that um sophisticated body care note. I think. I'm probably like totally wrong, but leave me a comment down below. Then we have Moonstruck, which I just talked about Moonstruck over coffee, blackberry jam butter cookie, zucchini bread, and vanilla bean Noel. Smells just like Moonstruck over coffee without the coffee. Not complaining. Love it. I pick up a lot on the blackberry jam butter cookie and zucchini bread. Totally and here, I think the coffee in the Moonstruck over coffee makes it harder to detect the zucchini bread, but I think blended with this makes it so good. And then the last brittle is sugared peonies. Another one that's like different from the rest. Pink peony, whipped cream, and cotton candy. And I think for spring, I love peonies. They're my favorite flower. This is so good. If you don't like florals though, I think you would really like this. It leans very much pink chiffon vibes. It gives me pink chiffon vibes for sure. Because it's like that pink candy, like crystallized sugar body care. And I'm not complaining. It smells incredible. Mmm. I like this. Mm hmm I think in like April and May when I'm like really ready for like, oh no, it's like, it's spring. I don't want the heat to come. I think this is going to be a perfect one for that. And the purple matches my hair. All right, those were the brittles. Now let's move along to the chunky muffins. I want to point out one thing with the mini muffins. I did not order any in the next pre-order. And I think the reason why, these are $7, the brittles are 10. I love that I can just take this out of the bag, snap it and put it in my warmers. I have to open this up, take it out, microwave it, chop it and all that for $3 less when if I like the scent, Getting a brittle and getting this, I don't know. I just feel like this is more work and they're super hard to get a hold of. Storing them is not as easy. And if I really love the scent, I have to chop a loaf anyway. So going forward, when I look at the pre-orders, I'm not even looking at the mini muffins. If it's available in pr brittles, great. If it's available in loaves, great. So this is the last order that I have of mini muffins. Unless there's a scent that like, oh my God, need to have 100% dying for it. But other than that, not going to. This is a sugar cookie latte, and this is caramel coffee with fresh baked cookies. Pretty basic. It smells like a sugar cookie latte. It smells like those like slice and bake cookies, and you're drinking them with a latte. So I really like it. Um, it's just it's a basic scent. This one, raspberry jam filled donut. I'm so excited that I ordered. I think three, two or three of these in brittles in the next pre-order. Raspberry jam filled donut. Wild berry jam, ras wild raspberry jam, fluffy donut, and powdered sugar. This is the Bath and Body Works dupe. And if you guys know me, that collection for Valentine's Day last year, 10 out of 10, knock you out of the 
heart. It smells just like it. When I bought that shower gel and I put that in my shower, when I lathered that with a loofah, it was like a yeasty. It felt like I was at a donut shop in my shower. And I ran out of hot water. I, I literally love that scent so much. So when I found that she was making this in wax, I had to. And like, look how cute. So it has, it's like the white overboard with the chunks. Yeah, this is... This is exactly it. It's the dupe for the Bath and Body Works set. I hope it comes back again this year in body care. It needs to come back again in body care because the set is a 10 out of 10 and I hope it's as strong. And once the brittles come, that'll be nice and cured and I'll pop it in my warmers. Jacuzzi bubbles. A hot bath filled with fragrant bubbly soap and soft florals with a creamy background. When I heard that this was a dupe for the replica perfume, I had to have it. I love that bubble bath scent. This smells like the perfume section at Sephora. You know when you go into Sephora, it's so bright, the oxygen's pumping, and you're like, I'm ready to spend money. I'm coming in for one thing and one thing only. I need to, so re so re uh, I need to restock on my cleanser. See, I get so excited thinking about Sephora buying, I don't even know what to say. That's what this smells like. So gosh, if I start melting this all the time, I'm going to want to spend so much money. It smells like the perfume section at Sephora. Oh, that scent. It's like new life. It's like clean and fresh, a little bit floral, musky. Oh, it's so good. I'm so, that's going to be such a good scent. And then last, besides the business card, my box is empty. Business card. Southside Serpent. And I ordered this one because of charity. It says, a hint of smooth leather, tobacco, sweetened marshmallow, and sweet bakery. I was excited about this because I do really like leather and tobacco scents. It's a very, very hint. I really don't smell it. This smells just like a toasted marshmallow with like a hint of leather. Like the tiniest hint. So I'm going to give this at least a month chop it up and see what it's like in the warmers. Because if this is really great, I, I'm excited, but for now, I don't really smell any leather or tobacco like I wanted to. It smells just like a marshmallow, like a creamy marshmallow. It's pretty light. So, wasn't thrilled with the muffins. Well, I don't want to say that. Jacuzzi bubbles and raspberry jam filled donut are amazing, but this one, I just really, really am hoping that it comes out more on warm. That was my box, and I know I said I would not be on before Christmas, but I wanted to film this video and get it out to you guys because I was so excited, and my desk is like piling up with boxes, and I want to put this away in storage so I can move on to film the next one. So again, I hope you have an amazing holiday, a happy new year, and remember, you matter, and I love you.